Hey everybody, it's Ryan here. In this video, we're gonna be talking about some wealth transfer principles. I promised you guys yesterday that we would begin talking about these subjects here on this channel. I promise you that I don't have this all figured out, but I know that together with the Holy Spirit, being obedient to what God is telling me to release to you guys, that we will all figure it out together. So with that being said, do me a favor. If you are somebody who is interested in hearing these types of words, uh, hearing these types of teaching, do me a favor, like this video. Also, when this video is over, please comment with if there's anything that you learned here today, if there's anything that resounded in your spirit, anything that uh, your spirit bore witness of, do me a favor and leave that in the comments. It's going to bless me to continue uh, along this series. We're going to be in this series for maybe about a month or two. I'm going to be bringing on some friends, some experts, and some mentors over the next um, two months and through the rest of this year that we're going to be dealing with the area of finances. One of the things that I believe God has shared with me that he wants me to begin doing is dismantling the spirit of poverty. And so we're going to be dealing with wealth topics. We're going to be dealing with abundance. We're going to be dealing with uh, wealth transfer principles. We're going to be dealing with keys to prosper in every area. And so with that being said, God is the teacher. I'm just going to be the vessel that's going to release what God is showing me. And the first thing that I went to the Lord to share or to get insight on uh, to release to you guys today and talk about today was one of the first things that God tells us in the word of God, which is to be fruitful and to multiply. And so what I want to share with you guys is some takeaways and some nuggets that I got from the word of God. I'm going to read um, Genesis 1 verse 28. And I just want this not only to be a teaching, but a prophetic declaration for you to act out in your life, that you would do the work, that you would just uh, do it. Like uh, it says in Ezra uh, chapter uh, 10, verse four, just, just to do it, okay? And so as we begin to do these things in faith, I believe that God is going to uh, allow us to step into that glorious place that we are desiring to step into. And so the first thing that I wanna share with you guys, again, Genesis one and 28, if you guys have your Bibles, it says this, it says, and God blessed them. And God said to them, be fruitful and multiply and replenish the earth and subdue it and have dominion over the fish of the sea, over the fowl of the air and over every living thing that moveth upon the earth. OK, and so we're going to probably be on this verse in this particular passage for a while. Um, there's three things that I want to pull out today that I believe that are going to bless you. I'm going to be looking, I'm using the Blue Letter Bible app uh, to pull out some of these uh, teachings and some of these words, not the teaching, but some of the words um, and the definitions of some of these words so that we all have further understanding to what God is truly saying, not just in English, but what he is saying with the original text. Okay. And so the first thing that we have to look at is a lot of times we walk through life, uh, our life has allowed us to endure circumstances and situations that make us feel that we're less than blessed. And so God has began to remind me over the last few years that he wanted me to begin teaching a theory and a principle called the original design theory or the original design principle. And that is in the beginning, God blessed the man and the woman, right? And so he, he blessed them. And so there in the in Genesis, we can see that when the enemy came in and sin entered the world, there were several uh, principles. There were several things that God wanted us to walk in and remain in. And we essentially lost that authority. However, when Christ came back to fulfill the law, when Christ was crucified on the cross and he died for our sins and he was resurrected. Again, we have been able to take authority and go back into that original design uh, period where these blessings, these promises, they are still enacted over our life and we need to act like it. And so the first thing that God did um, with man is he blessed them. OK, and so one of the things that stood out to me as I was studying this thing out um, if you guys have some type of uh, concordance or way to look this up with me, um, is the word blessed, it says, uh, is the word Barak. And so um, this this word means, uh, again, to bless. It means to kneel. Um, it means to be blessed, uh, to bless oneself, uh, to be adored, uh, to cause to kneel. Um, it's, it also means to praise, 
It means to salute and it can also mean to curse. Um, there's another particular uh, definition. If you start looking into the root word of this, um, it could also mean um, to bless abundantly. Um, it means to bless altogether. Um, it means to congratulate. Um, it also means um, to, to, again, to praise, to salute, to thank. And so one of the things that I began to just see an image of and a picture of as I was pondering on this word is, is when God blessed them by telling them to be fruitful and to multiply and all these things as, as he baracked them, as he said these things out of his mouth uh, over man and woman, one of the things that I believe God was doing, and I, I could almost see is this, this congratulatory word. I was seeing the word congratulations. And so I want to prophesy that into your life, that congratulations, as you begin to meditate and uh, begin to receive what God is saying to us through this word, that you are getting ready to um, step into this next season, that, that you are going to celebrate, that you are going to be surprised by what is going to manifest in your life as you begin to hold on to this particular uh, word, okay? And so the one of the next words, things that I want to, to, to highlight um, is that after he blessed them, he told them to be fruitful. And so the word uh, be fruitful, um, it, it, it can mean a lot of things. It means to bear fruit. Um, it means to branch off, to be fruitful, to cause to bear fruit, to show fruitfulness. And so if you're taking notes, one of the things that I, I think that blesses me and I've been gleaning and what I've, I've truly uh, examined through watching wealthy people, through watching people who have prospered in the area of finances, and even through the word of God, I believe we can see this fully displayed in, in 1 Kings chapter 3 with the Queen of Sheba coming and visiting uh, Solomon is that one of the, the things that we must do is to 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 show or to 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 bear our, our fruitfulness, to to demonstrate our increase, to um, to be a display of the things that we are carrying on the inside. And so um, so that was that was something that stood out to me. OK. And so, um, again, it means to bear it to mean to bear witness, to bring to bring forth. Um, many of you right now who are who are in a position where you may be thinking that you're not prospering in the area of finances, one of the things that we have to begin to examine is like what is on the inside of us, um, because a fruit has a seed, um, and basically there's something that God has planted inside of you from birth, and when you bring that thing out, when that thing is released, when that thing is revealed, when that thing is demonstrated in the earth realm then it causes uh, the physical manifestation, the finances, the increase that you're that you're desiring to see to begin to show up in your life. OK, and so um, a couple of different things that I began to do before I you know, started unpacking this word is I looked up the definition of, of fruit um, and there's a couple of different things that stood out. And so one of the definitions of fruit is an edible and un and it's an edible and usually sweet product of a plant or tree that contains a seed or a pit. Okay, I'm going to say that again. It's an edible and usually sweet product of a plant or tree that contains a seed or a pit. Okay, and so with the seed, like I just mentioned a moment ago, when a, a, a product is in seed form, when it's in seed form, sometimes um, there's, there's, there's so much greatness on the inside of a seed right um when 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 god puts things in a seed form it's it's to multiply right um inside that seed is the ability for the thing that it is to reproduce itself and so if we would begin to um, allow, allow ourselves to to pull what's on the inside of us onto the outside we begin to display it and reproduce it one of the ways that i recommend and i've been sharing this other prophetic people on YouTube have shared this as well as we recommend that you guys start a YouTube channel because this is one of the ways that you can capture what's on the inside of you in video form and put it out into the masses. You can display what God has put on the inside of you in front of thousands, tens of thousands, even potentially millions of people all at one time, which I'm doing right now in this moment. OK, and so um, one thing that I, I, I took away as I was uh, thinking about this, this, this uh, 
this definition of the word fruit, right? If it's, it's, if it's an edible and usually sweet product of a plant or a tree, um, what, what plant or tree are we a product of, right? And so um, the Lord took me here to John chapter 15. Um, I believe this is in verse five. And Jesus is saying this, I am the vine and ye are the branches. He that abideth in me and I in him shall so bring forth much fruit for without me, ye can do no thing. Okay. And so one of the first principles of wealth transfer um, in stepping into being fruitful is that we must be connected to the source. We must stay connected to the vine. We must stay connected to the, the, the source that allows us to, to pull these things outside of us. Right. Okay. And so I hope this is blessing you. Okay. And so another thing that I saw here by looking at another definition of the word, uh, fruit, um, which means fruit in a different way. We think about fruit in a different context is the effect or consequence of an action or operation, right? So like a product, um, or result. So like, um, you know, if, if someone has a son, we, we say like that is their fruit, like the way that they behave, the way that they show up, right? It's the effect or the consequence of an action or operation, right? And so what God is telling us to do when we think about this particular definition of the word fruit is if, if I am, am I being fruitful? Am I um, doing the action or operation that God has called me to do in this moment? Is there something that I'm supposed to be doing? Is there something I'm supposed to be walking in? Is there some something that I'm supposed to be producing on the outside based on what is inside of me right now? Okay. And so you have to be able to answer that question. You have to do the self-examination for yourself. Um, but I believe it's time. Um, again, the Lord gave us this word here the other day that it's, it's no more excuses, that we must begin taking what's on the inside of us, allowing him to use us as v vessels um, and, and, and pull those things out of us, right? Um, now, some of you guys may be going through situations right now um, possibly in your finances. And maybe this is why you're watching this video at this moment. And it feels like you're being crushed, but I promise you, um, just like with an, with an olive, again, all of the, the, the oil that is inside of that particular thing, um, is, is on the inside. And so it must be crushed to produce, to pull out what's on the inside so that we actually get the benefit. So we actually get the oil. So we actually get the thing that we want. Um, it, it has to go through a, a process of crushing. And so in your finances, understand that if, if you're feeling this effect, I believe that as you begin doing these actions, as you begin doing the operation or the action, then the effect or the consequence that will be produced on the outside would be a positive fruit um, in the term of in the area of your finances. OK, and so another thing that the Lord tells us to do is not only for us to be fruitful, so not only for us to uh allow the things that are on the inside to come out of us, um, but also he says to multiply, okay? And so this word multiply, it means to be or become great, to be or become many, to be or become much, or to be or become numerous. This is one of the first definitions. And so one of the things that God has called us all to is um, an area, an ex, a standard of excellence. So whatever area that God has commissioned us, he's appointed us, he's assigned us to be a workman in, we need to do that thing with, an, with a, a spirit of excellence. Um, and as we do that thing with a spirit of excellence, it will allow us to become great. It will allow us to become many. Uh, one of the things that I've continued to preach and to teach on this particular channel is that I truly believe that one of the greatest gifts that we have um, in terms of, of, of seeing wealth transfer happen in our life is through building community. Just like we saw in the book of Acts, um, as they came together as a, a body of believers, um, the word of God tells us that they lacked no thing. And so I believe that if we would begin to start assembling communities. Some of you guys right now, maybe you need to start establishing some type of group economic principles where maybe you and another family uh, begin to live and build together, build community. Or again, you can do like we're doing here on this YouTube channel where we're building community, where we have 17,000 other believers who are, who are listening to the word of God, who are being encouraged by the word of God, who are, who are coming together in some type of form 
shape or fashion um, in fellowship and in, in, in unity with each other um, so that you lack for nothing that um, as you have a need or this person have a need maybe you have a talent or a skill that can serve that need maybe you have a product or a service that can serve that uh, need for somebody else or, and, and be the blessing that you uh, desire to see um, the, another definition for this word uh, to multiply is to make much uh, to make many to have many um, this word also means to increase. Um, it also means uh, to shoot. Um, and so um, a couple of different things that I, I saw here that really um, stood, stood out to me is means to increase, uh, to increase in abundance, uh, to continue, to enlarge. One of the things that happens a lot of times um, in our Christian walk is God will tell us to begin a thing. He will show us a vision of a thing. And sometimes we just don't have the, 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 the wherewithal to continue in what he's told us to do, to continue uh, stepping out in faith, to continue walking in the things that he's called us to do. And I believe that if we would be faithful to his word, if we would be faithful to the vision that we've seen, that again, you know, the finances, the wealth, all those things will begin to manifest. One thing that I've learned and I've heard and I've seen in my life, um, in the lives of others as witnesses, is that provision is is attached to purpose and i believe that as we as a body of believers began to go back to our original purpose which was to be fruitful um to take what's on the inside of us and to bear witness of that thing on the outside of us as we stay connected and close to christ as we stay intertwined um into um, our, our relationship with him as we uh, look to him to be our source and that as we are filled up on him that it, it's, it's only inevitable because he is rich in glory and he is rich in, in, in righteousness. He is rich in everything, right? He owns everything. As we truly stay connected to him, that what is going to manifest in our lives is that same level of richness in every aspect of our lives, okay? Um, and so this word also means to nourish. Um, it means to store. It means um, um, to, 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 to be thorough. And so I think as we can find areas to be thorough um, in the things that we say, we can uh, find ways to nourish uh, the needs of other people. This is one of the biggest and best ways to prosper economically is to find a need that someone else has or a problem that a person has and to nourish that problem to bear a solution or bring a solution uh, to market that can solve that need for that particular problem. And as we do that, that's how value is exchanged. And when value is exchanged, money is exchanged, currency is exchanged. And so again, if, if we would just begin to just go back to the basics, remember that number one, that God has blessed us. He has said and proclaimed and professed out of his mouth that we are blessed. And so every single day as we wake up, we remember who we are. We remember what he said about us first. The first thing that he said about us, that we are blessed as we declare a decree that over our lives every single day, as we uh, be fruitful, as we multiply, as we nourish the needs of other people, then we ourselves will end up being nourished as we stay connected to Christ. And so I pray that this, this, this little simple teaching, um, I know it was like 18 minutes so far. I, I pray that the things that I unpack today, that you would begin to see a practical way to live these out. And if you need more practical ways to leave this out, I'm going to um, leave me a comment below. I'm going to try to come back and do a follow-up video of what you can do to be fruitful uh, today in the earth realm to solve other people's problems. So that'll probably be my next follow-up video um, so that you can practically live this out right now. So if this blessed you, like this, subscribe to the channel. I'll see you guys in the next video. And again, if this video blessed you, um, consider uh, sowing something into you here. Um, again, we want to be a gift uh, to you guys here on the YouTube community. Um, it takes time it takes resources to do these videos, to study, to take time away from our businesses, to take time away from our family to do it. And so if you would like to be a support, um, go ahead and do so as well. God will continue to enrich, enrich your life, I believe, as you be obedient to those things. So God bless you guys. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.